what tips would you give us around how to separate ourselves from our phones? Here's a good mm. example. I struggle with the fact that my phone can be my alarm clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So especially when I'm going to give a speech somewhere, I need mm -hmm. to be up at you know 4.30, shave, showered in a suit, go down to the room, technology. The problem is I'll go to bed at 10.30. Because we're a global company, I'll get 15 texts throughout the night. So mm -hmm. I'm waking up because my texts are going off, but my alarm clock's on, and I'm so nervous to like play with it for fear I turn off the alarm clock because it's more important for me to get up on time for the client than to get a good night's sleep. I'm guessing... If you could teach me how to, between the hours of 10.30 and 5 a.m., turn off notifications and keep my alarm on. There's things like that that if I just took the time, I could conquer. Well, you just answered your own question, so I'll tell you how I do it. Um, I use my cell phone for my alarm clock and, just being neurotic, a call. A call. I did not. I know. Hey, everyone knows we're twins separated at birth by right. same mother's right. different fathers. Right. <laughs> my, my mother used to set three alarm clocks back in the day. Huh. She, she was worried about that, too. And uh, people wonder why you're a, a um, productivity expert. Right, hmm. right. Well, she actually had a lot of, she had a, a day to glance. I mean, she was very organized. Yeah. Anyway, um, I... Do I will not listen to texts in the middle of the night. I need a good night. You, for, yeah. If you want to go to Choice 5, no, you have there. to get... I'm all there. And I'm also like you. I'm around the world, different yeah. time zones and stuff like that, so you really have to be careful. Um, I put... Uh, I, I use an Android at the moment, uh, and I put the Do Not Disturb on. I'm sure uh, Apple has the same function. Do Not Disturb automatically between the hours of 9 p.m. at night and 6 o'clock in the morning. Simple question. I should know this. That protects your alarm clock still to wake you, you up. The alarm clock will still work. Okay. And I do have, uh, what I do have in there is that the only people that can get through are my two sisters. Okay, so that was my next question. I should know this. I've got three boys, so I don't have a lot of time to play with my phone. I can designate my mother, my father, my wife to violate that protection at any time. In Android, definitely. I'm, I'm I sure so. you do yes. in, in Apple yeah. as well. But that, So it is very annoying when my sisters who live in New York and I'm in Arizona have some funny, you know, they're, start, they're chatting yeah. in the morning yeah. uh, and I'm like, could you knock it off? When I get included and I'm like, could you knock it off? This is all, because it scares me. When, when right now our guests are online thinking and writing, can you believe the host of On Leadership doesn't know that he can actually protect sounds on his phone? Not every, no, a lot of sorry. people, uh, you'd be surprised how many people yeah. don't know, but you gotta turn stuff off in the middle of the night and get a really yeah. good night's sleep.